What's up, YouTube? This is going to be our guide on how to use Sinistar in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'll be providing competitive movesets and some fun meme movesets too. If there's a Pokemon you'd like to see me cover, put it below in the comment section. And if you enjoy these videos, if they help you out, drop a like on the video and let's get into it. So Sinistar is a very, very interesting Pokemon. Um, it can be used in singles and doubles. It actually has double specific abilities. Now, this is the last Pokemon I've done for a moveset guide for all the brand new Pokemon that are fully evolved in the game. So I guess next time we'll be doing returning Pokemon uh, that are fully evolved too. Just uh, if you want to suggest some stuff, go ahead in the comments. So uh, let's start on its abilities and its moves. And we're also going to be starting on some uh, singles. We'll start with single sets first and then we'll move to doubles. I'll explain some counters, some teammates, and you know some meme sets and some other useful information if you plan to use this Pokemon. So let's have a look firstly at its stats. So, interestingly enough, unlike uh, Poltergeist, this Pokemon isn't like a Shell Smash Sweeper. It actually doesn't even get Shell Smash. But it does have a nice defensive stat, and it has a nice special attacking stat. So, that's its two highest stats there. Everything else is sort of just okay. Its health is all right, and yeah, it sort of goes down from there. So, not really impressive in speed and, you know, other stats like that. Um, anyway, uh, so this has some new abilities. So, we've got a, finally a new Heatproof Pokemon. There's not many of them. And Heatproof actually works quite good with this Pokemon, uh, you know, halving the uh, uh, super effective damage for the, the fire types, right? So, essentially, it'll be you know, neutral. Uh, the other move, oh, sorry, ability it gets is a purely doubles ability called Hospitality. Um, I'll get to explaining uh, the Hospitality movesets uh, halfway through this video, so yeah, it'd be easy when I was talking about those uh, sets, but this one is only for doubles, so for singles, you want to be using uh, Heat Proof. Now, it gets a new move called Matcha Gotcha, which is actually a very, very cool move. It's a grass move. It's special. Uh, it's got 80 base power, 90 actually, and it also has a 20% chance of a burn recovers 50% of the damage you deal to the opponent, and it also thaws the opponent too. So what a uh, what a move doing like so many different things. And uh, yeah, what, what a great move on this um, Pokemon too. Now it also does some other stuff in doubles too. Um, I'll explain a couple more of like little mechanics and stuff behind there, but sort of like you could almost say it's a, a grass skull, which is, a, and, and Giga Drain, which is, you know, really quite cool. So... I feel this could absolutely run a bulky Calm Mind sweeping set with that defensive stat and access to Calm Mind and access to Strength Zap. It can absolutely do that. Now, I've come up with a couple of sets here, uh, well, a, a few variants of this set, and I'll explain this first. So, firstly, we've got Strength Zap, which is a beautiful move there to use against the opponent, not only to heal, but to uh, drop the attack stat too and help you uh, allow you to set up the Calm Minds. Now, Magicotcha is going to have a burn chance too, 20%, so a further way to help you against physical attackers. Um, and then you are going to recover 50% of the damage dealt. And it also, well, the thawing doesn't really, you know, come into it too much. Now, the reason why I've got Big Root on here, uh, so Magicotcha uh, recovers 50% of the... Um, of the, well, the, the damage dealt, which is uh, really cool. So with the uh, big root uh, being held, you actually have a 65% uh, of the uh, damage being built uh, actually being healing you, which is really quite good. So um, I, I felt that items, it, it's a very specific item, big root, but I think it'd be very, very good for this because once you've got your calm mind set up, you're attacking and attacking and healing yourself like that, uh, which is going to be quite good. Now, there's two ways you can run this for a ghost type move. You can either run Hex. Hex is uh, quite interesting because Machigotch has a 20% chance burn. So essentially, you could be hitting a lot harder than, say, Shadow Ball, which most people will probably run at it. But this is another little interesting option that you could run. Plus, if you you don't think it's, well, that's not enough chance for a burn and there's, there's, there's no point in me running Hex, I'd rather run Shadow Ball. There's not enough chance for the burn. Well, then you could run to a Toxic Spikes Pokemon on your team too. And that would, uh, you know, that would help out a lot because that would mean you would be 100% uh, getting that status and not relying on a burn. But then like, at the same stage, you may not get a burn on some of the opponent's Pokemon. So... Just a sort of a little thing to think about there. But probably the most uh, standard sort of move that would work the best would be Shadow Ball. Plus Shadow Ball also has that 20% chance to uh, drop the special defense too. So if you get into a big store wall, you might be able to, uh, you know, bust through with that. So that's how I'd run the bulky set here. Um, now, the other thing I want to say is Terra. So I felt the best Terra on this particular sort of set would be Steel. Now, the reason I say that is... 
Um, Steel's going to get around any uh, Toxic. Like, Toxic is back in the game now on a lot of Pokemon. So, I feel like Toxic would... Toxic's obviously going to shut this down eventually, right? So, if we go Terra Steel, that'll be nice. Plus, with Heat Proof, well... Fire-type moves are still going to do neutral damage, right? So it's going to be perfect. And if a ground-type wants to come in, well, they're going to have to get hit by a match of gotcha, aren't they? So I think that's, uh, you know, that's still pretty good. And you can, you know, you can always hit fighting types and stuff uh, like that too. So I think that's probably the best setup here for a bulky Calm Mind Sweeper. You could do, like, little adjustments, but I think it's actually pretty good. Um, so give that one a go. Um, I'm, I'm actually going to try and get a sweep with that. I'm pretty sure that I can. It looks very, very... Uh, very, very nice and bulky. The way to run this, if you want to try and get this set up, don't just throw it in as the first Pokemon. Sort of feel out what the opponent's got. And if you want to try and set up, I'd set up on a physical attacking Pokemon um, for sure. That way you, you can, firstly, you can go straight up Strength Zap or maybe you want to bait them in for a little bit longer. So you set your first Calm Mind up. Um, and they all go for a match of gotcha to start off with. Um, or even, even one swap would be good. So one Calm Mind at the start. Um, then they sort of deal damage and then see how much they do. You might get a swap then or straight up strength sap for a deliberate swap. Like, you know, they're going to swap then, right? So that's a good idea. So maybe, um, have a Pokemon with stealth rocks and spikes on your team too, because this will cause a swap initially when you're setting up your, uh, you know, calm minds and stuff like that. So that's how I would run, uh, this Pokemon. Uh, if you're using a special attacker, I would not, I would not use it against a special attack unless they were very passive and didn't have a lot to hit with. Maybe they only had like a grass move or a a water move or something weak like that um, or you've dropped their stats with something like I don't know parting shot or memento or something like that that's, so that's how I'd play this Pokemon it's a bulky sweeper so you, could, you need to play it as such um, so that's pretty much my advice for this first set here um, I'll go through some other Terras uh, too. So you could run Terra Grass on there. I just love the idea of Terra Steel, you know, on this set. All right, let's have a look at the next set. This is also a double set. Now, this is more of a uh, what you call a throwaway lead. So this is like a Trick Room set, pure Trick Room. Now, this possibly could be used for doubles as well if you just want to sack a Pokemon real quick. But I, I think there's better ways to use it in doubles than just completely sacking it, whereas singles, you've got fire up the Pokemon, right? So um, let's have a look. So we've got similar sort of EVs there. Now, the reason I run it like this is because I want to be able to tank a hit and then, uh, you know, either one strength sap all my health back and then swap it out so I can use it again for Trick Room in the future. Or two, I've realized the opponent's got a very, very powerful Pokemon out there. Um, I don't want to swap any of my other Pokemon into a powerful move, so I'll just Mento and then cause a swap and try and set that up for a sweep, right? So say, for example, I've set the trick, I've taken a hit, I've set the trick room up, I've got about a quarter health left or under half, I know that I'm going to faint to the next attack, well, I'll just go Memento and then I'll send my Pokemon in and then I can start setting up against them because you know they're going to probably swap there, right? So that's the correct way to run that with Memento. Um... If you're taking very little damage and those sort of things, just strength sap, get your health back, swap out, or try and spread a burn with Scold. Now, you can go match a gotcha as well. That's another uh, sort of move to have. I sort of like... Scolds are not bad because you can... You could uh, have you have a high chance of burning too. So this is more of a... support. In my opinion, it's more of like a supporty style set. Purely set out the trick room. So try and s spread as much status as you want. Uh, another move you might be able to run on there. I'm just thinking on the top of my head. Uh, I think it's gets it get stun spore. Yeah, stun spore is another one. I know the accuracy is kind of shaky, but that's maybe another thing you could run on there too. And yeah, it's it's got some very good defensive bulk too. So I, you don't have to really have to worry too much about physical attack as you're mostly going to live. Unless it's a really powerful one straight up, um, then you might want to opt for an item change. Like I've got mental herb on here. Which isn't bad, considering you're rel totally relying on this for setup trick room. So it's not a bad uh, one-time item. Or if you're really worried that, oh, I really 100% want to set my trick room, I can't not have it. You can have Focus Sash on there too. That's another one. I know it's a bit weird having Focus Sash on such a defensive Pokemon. But let's say you come across a powerful special attacker and you absolutely need to set your trick room up. That is also like a, a fallback option there too. So whatever um, you've got on your team and stuff, I guess that would decide sort of what your items and stuff are. But... Either one of those things could be great for just a pure uh, trick room setup Pokemon. But I would run this differently in uh, in doubles compared to uh, singles. Next one we got here is, in my opinion, this Pokemon really isn't 
sort of cut out to be like, let's say, uh, I'm comparing this to po uh, Poltergeist. So it's no Poltergeist, right? So it doesn't have Shell Smash, or it doesn't have that immediate threat of, uh, you know, one turn Shell Smash, and then it's like a super fast, speedy sweeper, right? It also, I don't think it's stored power either, so can't really play it the same way. However, I feel like it might be able to, like, might be able to run somewhat as a nasty plot sweeper. Maybe not super competitive, but depending on your rule set, but, uh, you know, in, in certain different uh, rules, it might be able to work as a, uh, a, a somewhat speedy sweeper. Something like this would absolutely need some, like, probably sticky web support, though, because it's not fast enough. And it doesn't really have much to boost its speed either. It's got a good special attack stat though. So we've got Timber Nature, Max Speed, Max Special Attack, Heat Proof is the ability, of course, we're running singles. Uh, Sash, Nasty Plot, uh, doing as much damage as we can here. So we've got Energy Ball, Shadow Ball, and Skull. I gave it Terror Type Normal. Uh, the reason I did that is because, say you're on one health, right? And then the opponent's got, say, a Ghost Type move or something like that. Um, you are a ghost type Pokemon, so you could definitely attract a ghost type move. Um, that would that might get you around like a shadow sneak or something like that, but still, you there are a lot of priority moves out there. If you want to, you know, pump it into like a uh, ghost or grass, that would work as well. But it, this is more like gimmicky because it's it's simply not fast enough. That's that's the problem with it. Um, you might be able to do something gimmicky like I'm trying to think how to make this work. Else, uh, maybe a Salak Berry or something like that. But then. I don't know. I'd, I'd be I'd be inclined to forego that and have like endure or something like. I don't know to make sure you or sub to get down to that berry. But ultimately, it's not fast enough to be a, uh, a special attacking sweeper with nasty plot. You might be able to get away with it under trick room, like putting it in trick room yourself. So like, for example, we'll go quiet nature. Um, we'll have zero IVs and speed. Then you've got a bit of a chance there. Obviously, we're not going to have Salic Berry on there. Um, so that's 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 another way you could uh, possibly run it too, and it'll be a lot more bulky, which would be kind of nice. You could even give it like I don't know room service as well. Um, it's a it's it's got, it's got seventy base speed, so there are a couple of Pokemon that would be outspeeding it, but not like too many. But that could work uh, as well, or you could just you know, pop on like Life Orb or something like that. Um, that could be an option there as well. So. Not, I, def, I don't, definitely don't see it being used as much for this uh, compared to like this in singles or that in singles, but still an option. Anyway, that's probably what I'd mostly use competitively wise for singles. Um, I'll do doubles now and then we'll do some, uh, you know, team talk and memes and stuff like that. Okay, let's move on to doubles. So doubles, I'd run this a little bit differently. So firstly, we got the hospitality ability. Let me explain that. So... Hospitality, uh, on swapping this Pokemon in, will restore a quarter of its allies' maximum health, uh, rounded down. So, that's actually very good, because that means you could probably use this as a Trick Room Pokemon. So, what I'd probably do is I'd either leave with it, or swap it in later on. Um, that's how I'd probably run this. So, let me show you what set I've got here. So, we've got like a, a special attacker. So... This is one I, I, it was kind of similar to that nasty plot I was talking about before, but this one is actually um, performing under Trick Room. So with Matcha Gotcha, I've explained this move. However, this move actually hits both the opponents too, which is actually really, really cool. Um, so it hits both of uh, the other opponents there. Um, we've got, and yeah, you've got that Life Orb for extra damage. I thought that'd be quite good. And another, another cool thing too, um, say if the opponent's got like Liquid Ooze, uh, you actually would lose the same amount of health that you would like gain back from the move. So just some little trivia there if you come across a Liquid Ooze Pokemon. But uh, anyway, uh, so we got Trick Room here on this one, and we got Protect and Shadow Ball. So we've got this definitely for a Trick Room team for sure. And hospitality could be useful. Say, for example, you set the Trick Room up. All right, I'm going to swap it out, swap another Pokemon in its place. Uh, that would make a good team counter. I'll go over some teams in a sec. And then, oh, you've got like a couple of Pokemon out there. One faints. The other one has got like half health or less or something like that. You swap it back in and then Hospitality will activate. And then um, you, you'll heal your partner, which could be quite good. And yeah, I, I think this is one way of running it as a, uh, a like a doubles or VGC like a, uh, a special attacker in Trick Room. That's one way of running it. Um, Terra, I'd probably go for Terra Grass. 
try and you know just trying to get as much damage out of Machigotra as possible because it is hitting both opponents. So that's kind of good. And yeah, that could be uh, that could be really really good. Uh, you can get around lots of other stuff like you know Rage Powder and stuff like that too. And you're hitting both for lots and lots of damage. So you might have another Pokemon alongside it using Helping Hand or maybe another Pokemon with Hyper Voice. So you could get like you know Hyper Voice and then like a Machigotcha as well at the same time. Like maybe like I don't know Sylveon or something like that. That'd be kind of cool. Like I'm speaking, think of like Trick Room Pokemon with multi hitting moves. So just a couple of ideas there. Uh, what you could do with that. Uh, let's go over a bulky set now. This actually gets Rage Powder, which is really really cool. So I thought a way to actually run this. Uh, in doubles, you could run a defensive set. Now, I've run this. Uh, I've got this as a trick room set as well. So I was thinking you could take advantage of its defensive bulk, and with Rage Powder, you're going to redirect those moves right, and you can redirect them into a Rocky Helmet, and you could actually Strength Sap and then redirect with Rage Powder, and then you know they wouldn't be doing a lot of damage, and you'd be you'd be either causing swaps. And or doing damage, they do a little bit of damage to you, and you'll be doing damage to them passively with Rocky Helmet and cool stuff like that. And of course, Match of Gotcha too, spreading a burn and uh, recovering yourself a little bit. Uh, those uh, sort of cool things too, and setting up Trick Room at the same time. So that's another way that you could run it. Uh, you could forego Strength Sap and give it Shadow Ball if you wanted to as well. If you're worried about like, I don't know, coming across just a Grass Pokemon, um, that's another option too. I like these defensive EVs. I, I, I really do. Or if you want to run it like, say, like, oh, I'm sort of a bit worried about it. special defense, you could probably maximize. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd, you, could, you could maximize its uh, special defense a little bit there. So you could have an. Actually, that's not bad. Matter of fact, that's not bad. I'd run that. If you run strength stack, you could probably get a, You could probably slide it and slide that um, special defensive wise because you're already going to drop the attack anyway. So you could possibly do that at the same time, uh, too. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of like the idea of it being a bulky, uh, a bulky defensive wall and redirecting people into rocky helmets and, you know, you've got a, obviously you have a, your partner would be like a, quite a sweeping Pokemon and, you know, that'd be quite a, quite a pain there. But, uh, yeah, that's how I'd run that. Now I thought of a bit of a gimmick for hospitality. I was like, what if we could make this swap out a couple of times passively without, you know, actually having to swap out? I thought, hmm. Eject pack, that's pretty cool. And I'm looking through its moves and like, hmm, it can get Leaf Storm. So I thought that you might be able to start off with this as a lead in doubles. Leaf Storm gets some really good damage, right? You know, that's 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 nothing to uh, sniff at there. So you get that damage, and then when you get your special attack drops, uh, Eject Pack will kick in, and then that means you can bring it in later to uh, get the hospitality to kick in. So I thought that it wouldn't be a bad little way. So you power, like fire off a really powerful, you could even tear a grass and then like fire, it, like fire it off or something like that. So that's another way of running it. Uh, I put Machigotra on there as well. You know, Leaf Storm is pretty much only for hospitality. Uh, we got Shadow Ball and of course Trick Room as well. Um, I, I like Trick Room on this Pokemon. I think it works well on there because it's not very fast. So, yeah, that's some of the sets that I've got. I've, I've done Terra Grass on there. I, I pretty much did Terra Grass on all of them. I felt like that would work. But, yeah, so I hope you like some of these sets. Uh, let me talk about a couple of counters and stuff like that. And, well, counters is, counters is pretty easy, to be honest. This Pokemon uh, is, uh, is is pretty easy to get around. Let me, let me think of some... Or oh, now, especially with this Pokemon in the game, like, this is probably one of the ones that is, is a great counter. So, like... Uh, Okapon, that's going to be very bad because your grass moves are not going to do anything to that at all. It's speedy. It could just, like, com completely obliterate you. Um, I'm thinking a Flutter Main, too. That'd be another good one. It'd just outspeed you and click and completely, like, dominate you. Uh, fire. How about Chi Yu as well? Chi Yu's another one that could, uh, completely destroy you. So, there's a lot of Pokemon out there that can beat this, right? So it's not exactly invincible. But there's some counters for you, for sure. Um, I'm thinking else... Maybe... What other legendary is that? Well, tor tornado tornadoes? That, that, that could be a problem. Like, I was thinking, like, flying Pokemon, too. But yeah, there's just some counters there. As for, um... As for some teammates, it sort of depends on what set you're running. So, like, if you're running, for example... Let me bring up the... Okay, so if you're running something like this, I think a 
really slow, powerful Pokemon. Let's say Shadow, not Shadow Rider. Um, Calyrex. Ice Rider? I think that would be a pretty... I know they're both weak to fire, right? But you could also have other Pokemon on your team um, to get around fire types too. But I think this would make like a great... Um, physical attacker because if you set up like say for example you set up the trick room this could be really really good and then you could bring it in again um, later on that would be kind of interesting and then this would go crazy under trick room because you know, it has such good stats so maybe I should do I, I think I might actually do a, a guide on the Calyrex uh, soon but yeah that's an, a Pokemon that you could use for say if you're doing trick room um, if you're not doing trick room Let's say, for example, you you didn't bring Trick Room. Um, Ogre Pond, a uh, Half Flame. That's a good. That's a. Good, I know it's a counter, but it's also a good partner too. That wouldn't be bad. How about Urshifu? I, I think Urshifu wouldn't be a Rapid Strike. Urshifu. That'd be a good one. Getting rid of its counters and synergy, and you could bring this back in to heal it. You know, that would be a good one for sure. And any. I'm just trying to think if you didn't want to run a Trick Room one. Let's say we weren't going to run... I'm just going to forego Trick Room for a sec. Let's say I'm running... Let's say I'm running a speedy one, right? I don't even think you'd need max speed, but... Uh, let's go Modest instead. So we'll change it up to Modest. Yeah, so... I don't know. Like, let's say we go max health. So we'll keep it at max health to keep it like his all round bolt. You could probably dial that back a bit and, and get like. It depends on what you're trying to outspeed, right? If you're uh, if you're trying to outspeed a particular Pokemon, then you you might want to put you might not want to put full EVs into there, and you might want to put a bit a bit back in um in health. But for example, I'm just gonna do an example. If we were running a modest one, and we're like, oh, well, maybe a Tailwind user could be quite good here. So after Tailwind, this is gonna be. You know, reasonably good. I'm trying to think of some tail. Yeah, so you got ta some maybe a tailwind user that can deal with some of its uh, some of its like uh, things it's weak to. Let's have a look here. I'm got any like legendary Pokemon? Maybe like I was thinking like tor like actually I was thinking of Tornado. So that's not bad. But yeah, that could also work too. Under if if there was a Tailwind Pokemon, something that could uh, you know get around uh, its typing. So maybe hmm, we got like Grass and Ghost, right? Grass and Ghost. So let me have a look. Let me have a look at Flashfire. I'm sort of just having a couple of ideas on the spot here. But I mean Heatran. I'm just thinking about Heatran here. What do we got? Heatran. It's not bad as well. So that would be hard to get rid of uh, its fire weakness at least. That would be okay. And then that would actually be able to get around uh, its like Heatran's water weakness. So that's a, another one that could work too. So yeah, there's quite a few Pokemon you could you know get it to work with there. But I just see it as a very a, a very nice uh, special attacker and a great like support Pokemon uh, for your um, allies and stuff like that. It it does get some. What else does it get? So, if you want to give it like a fully special attacking one, it does also get. I haven't really done Terra Blast, have I? Yeah, I, I don't know about Terra Blast because I, I like either leaving it as Terra Steel or you could Terra. Terra Water? That wouldn't be all that bad. So, Terra Water? That could be a good surprise. Like any fire Pokemon come in there, that'd be a good surprise for sure. Um, that would be, you know, a Terra Blast Water would do a lot of damage to you. Maybe you could put it on a rain team with Terra Blast Water, and then, you know, that would increase it, uh, increase the sort of damage there. That could be, that could be kind of interesting. And also, you'd have a Pokemon then on your rain team to swap into electric type moves too. So that's kind of cool, isn't it? So that's another way, uh, if you want to run it too. Um, maybe like, uh, you had that in your Pelipper. Cool. So, like, you had a, a Drizzle Pelipper. Interesting. So, just there's, there's so many probably different like things you can do with this. So obviously, I can't cover them all. But yeah, that's some ways of running this. Let's have a look at. Um, I can never spell this or say this. It's Sinistar. I think that's how it is because I know it's like Matchar, but Sinistar. I don't. I don't know how to say it that well, but you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, let's have a look at some of the. Mo Actually, let's have a look at some memes here. So, 
Let's have a look at the moves, and I'll come up with some meme sets right now on the spot. So I, I like meme sets. We like to look at all moves of every Pokemon, right, and really understand them. In my opinion, that you're you're better if you know all the ways that can run a Pokemon and all the moves that it gets, rather than just the standard ones, right? That way you can't be you know, taken by surprise. So we've gone over all these moves here. Everything Nightshade. Nightshade might be an option on like a real tanky set, but. Generally, a tanky set probably has a way of statusing, so Hex would outclass that. Uh, Skull, Shadow Ball, Terror Blast. Yeah, maybe maybe Solar Beam and like a Sun, a sun team could be interesting. That could be another way. Or another good counter would be Torkoal to Sinister, uh, Sinister. That'd be another annoying uh, Pokemon for it to deal with. like Because even Skull is going to get powered down and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'd say Torkoal's a good counter too. So, there's a special... There's actually... You know, there's there's not a lot to it. Um, it gets some interesting uh, moves here. So we've gone over Calm Mind, and yes, it does get Calm Mind and Iron Defense. I was profusely looking for stored power, but unfortunately, I couldn't find it. So unfortunately, it doesn't have that. Um, I guess they're trying to bring it away from Poltergeist, the Shell Smash sweeping sort of thing. But yeah, it's got Iron Defense. You might be able to run a Calm Mind Iron Defense set or Iron Defense or something like that. Uh, Memento, we've gone over that. No, Memento works well with Trick Room. Uh, Nasty Plot, we've gone over that already. Protect, Reflect. Reflect is alright. Could have it as a screener with Light Clay, possibly. Uh, I prefer Light Screen, though, but uh, we got Sleep Talk. Rest, yeah, Rest Sleep Talk. How about Rest, uh, Bulk, it's Defensive Rest Sleep Talk or Rest Sleep Talk Matcha and maybe like Shadow Ball or something like that. That could, that could be interesting. Then again, with moves like Strength Sap, I don't know, and Terra Steel, I'm not, I'm not, I think you might be wasting your time there. Uh, Stun Spore, gonna have that sub, Trick Room, and yeah, you've got Rage Powder, which is, you know, really nice for doubles. And you've got, also got Life Dew as well. That's a, I guess that's another option. Oh, you got Imprisoned if you come across another one. But yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it for the, uh, the, uh, the status. Let's have a look at this physical. Oh, oh, I gotta make a physical set. Here we go, people. Let's do it. Let's make this physical set. I have to do this. So we've got a Thumping Shadow Force. Or a Pol Ooh, Poltergeist. So Poltergeist is now back in the game as a move, too. Uh, okay, so we need a held, a held item. So how about we go... We'll go Poltergeist. Foul play. It, wait. Okay, we got to do... <laughs> this is going to be fun. So, wow. I don't even know if I can get Terra Blast to... Let's see if we can do Adamant. Okay, we'd have to do Adamant with zero IVs and special attack. Okay, now we can use Terror Blast. Sweet. Oh, boy. I wonder if I can get away with Jolly. Probably probably not. Uh, oh, even... Wait. No, no, no. We'll go Hindering and special attack. So... I think we need Adamant, though. because Yeah, I think we need Adamant because it's not going to be, like, powerful. So, we got Poltergeist. And... Uh, foul play, Poltergeist. Wow, foul play. Foul play is not going to help very much on a physical set. Let's have a look what other memes we can use here. So, is there anything we can use for a physical set? Like, anything at all? I'm really, really trying to think here. Okay, we'll have Strength Snap on there because that's handy. we got Poltergeist. We could go... Well, let's go Terra Ghost. We're going to go Terra Ghost. Okay. Very, very good. Now, we need an item. We could uh we could roll out the the ginormous spooky plate yeah it's just gonna be it's gonna be some power it's got that spooky plate and it's good I hope you're really listening in uh, hard to this set it's gonna be absolutely incredible so status moves let's go and see that so life to in prison or oh, let's use in prison because you know someone's definitely gonna run that uh, we've draw spite rage powder grassy terrain got grassy terrain on there hmm. grassy terrain sub. This is this is very very this is very rough. Does it have any secondary effects on it? No, except the held item part. Wow, this is this is probably the trashiest. <laughs> this is like the worst. Like as you know, I normally do lots of memes and stuff like that, but I've got nothing to work. Mate, oh wait, oh oh oh, I've come up with it. I've come up with a. We're going to forego our most powerful poltergeist. All right, we're, actually we're going to keep that. We're we're going to run an astonish. Flinching set. So I take it all back. We're going to run a trick room set. This is beautiful. All right. Here we go. Okay. Yes. So we've got a, a Terror Ghost Astonish. We've got that thumping 30% chance to get a flinch. We've got Poltergeist there for a little bit more damage. Like we flinched them a couple of times. They're starting to get a little bit salty. As their health lowers and we know we can fight them, then we'll go for Poltergeist, right? 
And we've got Strength Zap to heal ourselves. And, of course, we've got Trick Room to uh, set up again to outspeed. Well, there you go, people. What an absolutely incredible moveset to finish off with. Uh, I, I might have to try that. I might be able to take out a Caterpie. But anyway, on a more serious note, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you found it insightful. Singles, doubles, counters, uh, different teammates and stuff that you could use there. Um, if you enjoyed it, if you found it helpful, if you found something out new, drop a like on the video. Please give me Pokemon in the description you'd like to see next because there's so many to do. So maybe try and do the ones that people want to see the most first and stuff like that. And that's about it. Peace out, people.